Hello and good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. I just woke up like two minutes ago. So I'm still pretty groggy, but uh, I'm taking the dogs out. Grace is waking up, so I'm gonna go get her. And uh, she and I will be getting ready together today since I didn't wake up before her. Um, but it's a Tuesday, so I'm gonna be with her all day. We have her class at the Nature Center in about an hour and a half. So we'll get our morning started and then head off to that. Let's get you guys breakfast. <laughs> Good morning, wonderful girl. It is so good to see you. You know, some days I pack Grace a snack for class that is made from scratch, packaged all cute in her lunchbox. And other days we don't have time for that and it's this, balance. It's for you, yeah, this is your snack for class today. Do you wanna get dressed first or should mommy get dressed first? Mommy, okay, you wanna help me pick my outfit? Okay. Hmm. Hmm. That shirt? The white one? Okay. No. Oh, no. No. Okay. Hey. Oh, the purple skirt. You know, that would be really fun, but I don't think that would work so well for class for me because I need to be able to move. Yeah. That one? Yes. Okay. Ooh, this is a good pick, Grace. I like this shirt. I haven't worn it in a little while. And it'll be nice and comfy for class. I like it, Grace. I like it. You have baby shark on your jammies. Mama. And mommy has flowers on her shirt that you picked. Yeah. Yeah. Should we go pick your outfit? Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to wash my face real quick. Okay. And then we'll go pick your outfit. Do you want to think about what you might like to wear? Baby shark. You want to wear your baby shark pajamas? Yeah. Those are dirty now because we wore them to sleep, but we can wash them and wear them again in a couple days. Baby, baby. Oh, it makes you a sad baby. I'm sorry. Yeah, I have pajamas I really like too. Sometimes when we really like something, we don't want to change out of it, but we don't want to keep wearing it because it's stinky. Can you say stinky? stinky? Stinky, that's right. But you can wear anything you want from your clean closet. And you have other character shirts like, like Mickey and Elmo. Then I keep Elsa Let It Go dress, this yeah. one. The mermaid. The mermaid dress, yeah. mermaid dress. this one. Yeah. Okay. Mermaid. Mermaid dress with the fish. Happy birthday. And you're going to have a happy birthday mermaid party. That's right. We're ready. Yay. 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 This whole morning, I, I haven't had my tripod for filming, so I've just been balancing you on a variety of things, and then I just realized it's right out here in the kitchen. So, sorry for the uh, creative angles. You wanna give the dogs a treat? Okay. Yes, honey. Yes, honey. All right, to class. Are you excited? Yeah. Here you go, what did you say? Hop, hop, that's right. We're gonna release them today. We're looking for four leaf clovers. Gonna go up. Woo! Right, we are at the park after class. Class was great today. Grace loved it. They did a butterfly release, which was really cool. And Grace loves butterflies, so extra exciting. Actually, we're gonna do a butterfly garden in our backyard. I was actually planning on setting it up like a month ago, but you know, life. Um, I think that's something we're gonna do this weekend though. Should I get the duckies so you can send them down the slide again? One, two, you're gonna send them down the slide? Woo! We're uh, pushing the ducks on the swings now. <laughs> um, but yeah, class was great. Oh, butterfly garden. That's what I was saying. Gonna set up the butterfly garden this weekend in uh, one of the two new garden beds we're gonna assemble. And then we're also gonna be transferring the seedlings because they are totally ready to go. Probably could have done it last weekend, but we were out of town. So this weekend will be good. We were at a, a wedding. It was super fun. Didn't vlog it, but I did post about it on Instagram. So picks. All right, we're gonna have fun at the park probably for another 20 minutes here. Then we'll head home, do lunch nap time and I'll catch up with you guys then. All right, it is 1.30, 30. And uh, I got Grace down for her nap. I, uh, I should I should do the dishes. I usually like to do some dishes during Grace's nap, but um, I'm gonna just 
we'll let it pile up a little bit longer, get to it tonight, um, because I'm going to try and get some work done during this nap. I need to review the next episode of the podcast and send notes on that ASAP. That was actually due last night and I didn't get to it. I also want to schedule a vlog that I finished editing last night. Um, what else was there? A couple emails to get to and then personal life thing. I want to make a grocery list. We're running low, but um, Grace and I are going to go to the farmer's market this afternoon, evening, like four o'clock maybe. Get some fresh produce for the week and then uh, probably do a grocery run for the rest of the stuff later tonight. That is the nap time plan. Um, I, I had started the grocery list earlier. This is embarrassing. I wanna make a lot of recipes this week that call for cilantro because our cilantro in the garden is doing so well. I wanna use it. Actually, let, let me show you me being like, I don't have time to do dishes, but I have time to show you my seeds in the garden. Sorry, they're not even seeds anymore. They're they're just plants, but grace refers to all of them as seeds. So Remember, that is what I do now as well <laughs> Look at that. It is coming together and that cilantro Totally ready to harvest some of this. Also, we have a little gnome in our garden now Grace and I were at Dollar Tree a couple weeks ago and she saw this and she thought it was Santa because I mean it it kind of does look like Santa. So our little Santa gnome guarding the cilantro. We're gonna be transferring some of the seedlings over in this side this weekend. And then this garden bed looking great as well. Got some marigolds in the front, the zucchini, sunflowers in the back. Those are gonna be beautiful when they're flowering. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for that. But yeah, excited to use some of this beautiful green cilantro this week. Stanley phone. Oh, and I need shoes before I go upstairs because do 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 I got a treadmill desk. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I got a treadmill desk. I, I talked about this, I think, in a previous vlog about how I think they're just such a cool idea. And I already have a standing desk, which works perfectly with this. Um, and the treadmill walking pad that I found was only 250 bucks. I just started with it yesterday, but I, I really like it so far. I'm actually doing a whole main channel video about it where I'm gonna be trying it for a month. So today's day two. So I'm just gonna walk on that while I review the podcast and do my scheduling and emails. I learned yesterday, oh, also <laughs> gotta move my Apple watch to my foot. Got this adjustable band that can go around my ankle so I can better track my movement um, since my hands aren't moving like they normally would be walking, I'm typing and stuff. Although yesterday I, I had some issues with the typing and walking and like editing and walking aspect. My hands weren't as stable, but the more passive things, like really what I'm about to do right now with watching back this podcast, it's like amazing. All right, so I'm starting a walk on my watch. It's got a remote too. So I just press power and here we go. Right, I just finished reviewing the podcast episode. I'm gonna turn the treadmill down a little bit, slow the pace, now that I'm actually gonna be like typing and using my hands. And we are gonna schedule the next vlog. I also should most definitely be wearing my glasses, but in the, the earlier part, since I was walking faster, I got a little bit sweaty and they were fogging up, but now we're good, so glasses. But yeah, I'm feeling good. Walked for about 45 minutes so far. The episode was an hour and 18 minutes, but I watch it back on two times speed, so it's half that. So I should have a good amount of time here to get the rest of my work done. All right, Grace is awake now. We have been having a lot of fun playing at home. We're gonna wrap things up soon though, because um, we're gonna head to the farmer's market. Bella, are you okay? <laughs> I think she might be a little itchy. Maybe she needs a scratch. Itchy, yeah. Oh, would you like to buy these? Oh, and the dog. Grace's favorite game to play right now is what she calls playing buy, which we play shop. She comes in, she puts all of the things she'd like to buy in the popcorn bucket, and then I help you check out, right? Yeah. Yeah, is this everything you'd like to buy today? Yeah. Oh, you wanted to come see yourself, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I love you. You wanna buy? All right. Did you find everything all right today? Yeah. Oh, excellent. $26, please. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Out of 30, $4 is your change. I can put it in your purse if you'd like. Boop, there you go. Bye. Bye, thank you for coming. Oh, don't forget. 
<laughs> Your shopping bag. Mama. One more. Yeah. Okay, should we play it one more time and then we'll go to the farmer's market? No. When we're there, we get to buy in real life. We can give them the money and they give us the fruits and vegetables. Yeah. So this is good practice. Mama, bye. One more buy, okay. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the mommy shop. Did you find everything all right? Uh, no. No? Oh, what are you looking for? Hmm. Oh, Bella? Yeah. You'd like to buy Bella? Well, let me see what I have in the back. Bella! Oh, well, it looks like we found our very last one. The price for this one is $5 million. Yeah. I think that's a fair price. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you do? Okay, thank you so much. All right, here's your new dog. I'm gonna give her a gentle pet. Yeah. Okay, gentle hands, good job. Yeah. Yay, she likes gentle pets. farmer's market haul. I'm so excited. We had such a great time. We got lots of great produce, some snacks, some non-produce things, and we just, just had a grand old time. <laughs> got this basket of avocados. We got some delicious berries, these blueberries and strawberries, a bunch of carrots, a basket of Brussels sprouts. I love to roast Brussels sprouts with onion and carrots. Serve it on a bed of rice. It is delicious. So you can see we got the Brussels sprouts, we got the carrots, and we also got onions. A yellow onion for that, and then a red onion for actually two other recipes I'm making this week. We also sampled some delicious salsa, and I decided to get the mild salsa verde from a small local business called Mamacita Salsa, and it says, made the way my abuela taught me as a little girl, homemade salsa made with love from our home to yours. And it was absolutely delicious when I sampled it. I loved it. I think Steven's gonna love it. We also got chips, which Grace loved, so they're already open. And then the coolest thing that I got, not food, but even better, a crock shaped candle. Oh my gosh, you guys, when I saw this, I just about died on the spot. It's a literal candle, handmade, in the shape of a crock and in this pretty blue color too. And it was, it was only 10 bucks. I was so excited by it when I saw it. And when I asked how much it was, I was like fully expecting them to be like 30 or 40 bucks since it's handmade and so freaking cool and unique. And when they said $10, I was like, I sold done. Their business is called All Is Pretty. I'm going to link them in the description. They have this big sign that said too pretty to burn and like, I, I agree. I don't know if I'll ever be able to bring myself to actually burn this because it's just so cute, but it does smell delicious. So maybe when I'm, I'm done enjoying it as a display piece, I will actually burn it. But yeah, I, how cool. And that's why I love farmer's markets. Go in, get some fresh local produce, walk around, Grace is super entertained and we get to be outdoors. And sometimes you just find the freaking coolest thing you've ever seen, like a crock shaped candle. <laughs> So cool, so cool. All right, I I'm gonna put the produce away, but later tonight after Grace is asleep, I do wanna do some veggie prep. Not only does that save me a lot of time when I'm cooking later, but it also ensures that I will most definitely actually use what I buy. Because all too often when I buy produce that takes a lot of prep and I don't prep it in advance, then the time comes to cook and I'm like, oh, I just don't have the time or that seems like it's gonna take too much. But if it's already prepped and chopped and in the fridge, I'm like, I. I have to put it, do it. I already put in the work. It's not gonna take a lot of time. Just cook it. And then I do, and nothing goes to waste. But yeah, that's the plan. I'm gonna go hang with Grace and Steven. We're gonna have some dinner, and I will check in with you guys later. We decided to eat outside today for dinner at Grace's request. Actually, I guess I should start an outdoor timer, add it to our total. We got a lot of outdoor time today. It didn't feel like it, because it was very broken up, and not like a specific outdoor activity, but we're at three hours and 24 minutes just from the little bit of outdoor outdoor time at her class and then playing at the park and some time here at the house. Oh, and the farmer's market, obviously. Are you ready to sit down or do you want a few more minutes to play? You don't wanna eat? Yeah. Well, you don't have to eat, that's your choice, but mommy and daddy are hungry and I think it'd be nice if you sat at the table with us. And we can 
talk about our day. Do you want to tell him the exciting thing that happened at school today? Fly. Fly. What did you see? Did you, did you see butterflies? Yeah. Ah. We released butterflies. They went up in the air? Yeah. What? Eyes. Eyes? Yeah. yeah, butterflies have eyes, I think. Did you see them with your eyes? Yeah. Oh, you did? Oh, that's right. That's what Mommy said. Mommy said, look with your eyes. Don't touch because they're very delicate. And you did an excellent job. You want to tell Daddy about your day or hear about his? His. Oh, she wants to hear about Ooh. his day. So this morning I went to Orange Theory. All right, it is 7.45. I just pulled up at the gym. It There was like the most gorgeous sunset I've ever seen on the drive over here. It was absolutely beautiful. Um, and now I'm going to head inside, do a pretty quick workout and then probably like a long chill after in the sauna and then I'm gonna shower and stuff. Brought my gym bag, brought all my hair stuff. I'm gonna do like a full reset wash here. Um, I, I wasn't sure if I was gonna work out tonight. I had put it in my schedule a couple days ago for tonight, but I forgot that I'm doing that treadmill video. I'm still kind of figuring out how that fits into my exercise routine because I did walk quite a bit. I think it was like three and a half miles today and it felt great and I feel like it really energized my body, but I didn't really get like the mental satisfaction that I get from a workout at the gym or the Peloton bike. Like I wasn't, I wasn't like connecting with my body. It was just kind of like monotonous walking while I was focused on my work. So I really am still craving that kind of me time connecting with my body, but also I have to be careful with exercise that I don't fall into old habits and just get kind of obsessive about that feeling of like, oh, I can, I can do another workout. I can do another one. I can push a little bit more. So I try to be very conscious of that, but I don't think that's what this is. I think I'm just wanting to get that satisfaction from, you know, a workout where I'm very present in my body. So that's what I'm going to go do, but I'm going to keep it on the shorter side. I don't think I'm going to do any cardio and just focus more on weights and strength training. So yeah, that is the plan. I I brought my grocery bags for Sprouts, but I'm kind of thinking I'm not going to go just because it's already kind of late and I did have just like a, a couple small work tasks that I want to do tonight, plus the veggie prep, which is going to be a lot less if I don't go to the grocery store. So, I don't know. This is this is not a this is not a now problem. This is something to think through after the workout. So, let's just not worry about it now and go enjoy the workout. All right, I'm done. I had a great workout. I'm very relaxed and uh, not going to the grocery store. So let's head home. All right, let's prep some veggies. Everything is prepped and put away. I also washed and repackaged the berries earlier. So we are all good on that front. And then I've got my big thing of veggie scraps that I'm gonna add to the Lomi. This is the Lomi. It's a countertop kitchen composter that um, I'm borrowing from my dad. If you follow me on Instagram, this is old news, but it's an electric kitchen composter that I'm borrowing from my dad to see if I like it before I decide to spend the money and buy it because it is pretty expensive. So I'll just open it up, add that in. Not quite as graceful with one hand. That looks good to run. I'll close it, switching to the grow mode. So it's formulated for the garden so I can use that in our new raised beds. I usually don't fill up a whole one in one day. I usually do like one or two cycles a week, but I had all the leftovers from the veggie prep. And then I also had the eggshells and some leftover of Grace's quesadilla from earlier today. And you don't want it to be too full. There is a fill line. So I think this seems good. I really like it so far. I've been adding the soil to my garden and as we saw, my plants are doing great. So I love having the soil and it's also just a lot like cleaner 
and quicker than the way we used to do our compost, which was just through our city. They had like a pickup system. And so we would keep a bin under our kitchen sink and then they'd pick it up once a week. But that bin would get really nasty. It smelled terrible as you would expect. Um, so it's nice to be able to just get rid of the scraps right away, run the compost right on my kitchen counter and uh, then have nutrient rich soil for my garden. Like I said, it is expensive though. So definitely a downside on the price. I think it's like 500 bucks or something. Um, and then also not as eco-friendly as a traditional compost because it is using electricity. So things to consider, but um, yeah, after a couple weeks, I like it. Now it is, what time is it? 10, 15, I am gonna head upstairs to do like a half hour of work, which will really set me up for success for my work schedule tomorrow. And that'll be it for my night. Then Steven and I will go to bed. He's working up in his office right now too. So we'll get some work done, get to bed. And uh, yeah, that's it for this vlog. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.